SpaceX has announced its plans to accelerate the development of the Starship in preparation for a mission to the moon as early as 2023. With the success of Artemis 1, NASA and SpaceX are determined to have the Starship ready for their first manned mission to the moon since the Apollo program. Let's take a closer look. SpaceX is a private aerospace company founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk in 2002. It is headquartered in Hawthorne, California, and is focused on developing and manufacturing advanced rockets and spacecraft for a variety of missions, including crewed missions to the International Space Station and future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX was founded with the goal of reducing space transportation costs and enabling the colonization of Mars. The company has made significant progress towards these goals and has established itself as a leader in the commercial space industry. One of SpaceX's most notable achievements has been its successful development and operation of the Falcon 1, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy rockets, which have been used to launch a variety of payloads into orbit, including satellites, cargo to the ISS, and even astronauts. In addition to its rocket development and launch services, SpaceX is also working on the development of its Starship spacecraft, which is being designed as a fully reusable launch vehicle, capable of carrying both crew and cargo to a variety of destinations in space. The Starship will be launched on top of the Super Heavy rocket, which is currently in development. Elon Musk is the founder and CEO of SpaceX, as well as the CEO of Tesla Inc., a company that designs and manufactures electric vehicles and renewable energy products. Musk is known for his ambitious vision and innovative approach to business and technology, and has made significant contributions to the fields of space exploration and sustainable energy. Before founding SpaceX, Musk co-founded PayPal, an online payment system, and has also been involved in several other ventures, including the Hyperloop, a high-speed transportation system that is being developed by another one of his companies, The Boring Company. Musk's vision for SpaceX and its role in the future of space travel has inspired many people around the world, and the company has gained a large and devoted following. Its successful launches and innovative approaches to space travel have made it a leader in the industry, and it has sparked a renewed interest in space exploration among the public. One of the main goals of SpaceX is to make space travel more affordable and accessible to a wider range of customers, including government agencies, commercial companies, and even private individuals. To achieve this, the company is focused on developing reusable rockets and spacecraft, which can be used multiple times and significantly reduce the cost of space launches. In addition to its focus on reusable technology, SpaceX is also working on developing advanced propulsion systems, such as its Raptor engines, which are designed to be more powerful and efficient than traditional rocket engines. These advances are expected to help reduce the cost of space travel even further and make it more practical for a wider range of missions. While SpaceX has made significant progress towards its goals and has achieved several notable milestones, the company still faces many challenges and uncertainties. The development and operation of rockets and spacecraft is an incredibly complex and risky endeavor, and there have been setbacks and failures along the way. Despite these challenges, SpaceX remains committed to its vision of advancing space exploration and enabling the colonization of other worlds. The company has a strong track record of overcoming obstacles and achieving success, and it is well positioned to continue making significant contributions to the field in the future. Elon Musk has played a key role in SpaceX's success, providing the vision and leadership that has helped the company achieve its goals. His unconventional approach to business and his willingness to take risks has helped to make SpaceX a leader in the space industry and have made him a well-known and respected figure in the tech world. The Starship is intended to be a fully reusable launch vehicle that can carry both crew and cargo to a variety of destinations in space, including the Moon, Mars, and beyond. It is designed to be launched on top of the Super Heavy rocket, which is currently in development by SpaceX. The Super Heavy rocket will provide the necessary thrust to lift the Starship into orbit, while the Starship will be responsible for carrying payloads and crew to their destination. The craft can carry up to 100 people at a time and has a spacious interior that can accommodate a variety of missions, including crewed missions to other planets and space-based research and development. One of the key features of the Starship is its fully reusable design, which will allow it to be used multiple times and significantly reduce the cost of space travel. 
This is a major step forward in space travel technology, as most current spacecraft are only able to be used once before being disposed of. The Starship is also designed to be more efficient and reliable than traditional spacecraft, with advanced propulsion systems and a durable, stainless steel exterior that can withstand the extreme conditions of space. In addition to its crewed missions, the Starship is also being developed to perform a variety of other missions, including satellite launches and missions to other celestial bodies. Its versatility and ability to carry large payloads make it a valuable tool for a wide range of customers, including government agencies and commercial companies. The Starship is still in the development phase and SpaceX has been conducting several test flights to ensure it is safe and reliable. The company has already conducted several successful test flights of prototypes of the spacecraft and is expected to be operational within the next few years. The development of the Starship represents a major step forward in space travel technology and has the potential to revolutionize the way we access space. Its fully reusable design and ability to carry large payloads and crew could make it essential as a tool for a wide range of missions, including crewed missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Despite the many challenges and uncertainties that remain, the Starship represents an exciting development in space travel technology that could have a major impact on the future of humanity. It is a testament to the ingenuity and determination of SpaceX and its founder Elon Musk, and it will be interesting to see what the future holds for this groundbreaking spacecraft. In the coming years, we can expect to see the Starship playing a key role in a variety of space-based missions, including crewed missions to the ISS, lunar missions, and even interplanetary travel. Its versatility and reliability will make it an invaluable tool for exploring the final frontier and unlocking the full potential of space travel. The success of the Artemis program largely depends on if the Starship is ready in time. NASA's Artemis program is an effort to place astronauts on the lunar surface and develop an ongoing presence there. Artemis 1 launched on November 16, 2022, after having missed its previous launch windows. The program's name is derived from Artemis, the Greek goddess of the moon and twin sister to Apollo, whose namesake program first brought astronauts to our natural satellite on July 20, 1969. The Artemis program is a renaming of several earlier activities NASA was already undertaking to return humans to the moon. These were mandated by President Trump's Space Policy Directive 1, which tasked the agency with focusing on missions to the moon. In 2019, Vice President Mike Pence set an ambitious deadline to land humans at the lunar south pole by 2024. Perhaps the most ambitious of the Artemis mission's objectives involves using the moon as a stepping stone for a mission to Mars. Robots have done all the detective work on Mars so far, but NASA now aims to send astronauts there by the 2030s. With a future target set on the Red Planet, the return to the Moon will be used to provide us with the knowledge and tools to better navigate our solar system. Between 1969 and 1972, six missions took place in which 12 people walked on the surface of the Moon, all of them men. For such a high-risk mission, the most experienced astronauts were required, and at the time, there were no women at NASA who had suitable test flight experience. For a long time, space was viewed as an industry primarily for men, and it wasn't until 1978 that NASA selected its first female astronauts. As of March 2022, 75 women have been to space, and the Artemis moon landing will serve as a reminder of changing times. While it's currently undecided who will be chosen, it will likely be one of NASA's astronauts who has already worked aboard the ISS. In December 2020, NASA announced the Artemis team of astronauts, which included nine men and women. In August 2022, Chief Astronaut Reed Wiseman announced that all active NASA astronauts are eligible for Artemis missions, with crew selections to be determined at a later date. Artemis II is scheduled for launch in 2024 and is expected to carry the first four astronauts. The Orion capsule will take the crew farther from Earth than humans have ever traveled before. The crew will complete a lunar flyby and return to Earth, evaluating the spacecraft systems while carrying humans. Artemis II will demonstrate critical functions including mission planning, system performance, crew interfaces, and navigation and guidance beyond low Earth orbit. After launching, SLS will orbit the Earth twice, firing its engines to build up the speed to push it to the moon. The entire mission will last approximately 21 days. 
Artemis 3 is the second crewed mission of the program and the first to land astronauts on the moon. The crew will visit the moon's south pole to search for water, study its surface, test technologies, and learn to work on a world outside Earth. This will see the next man and first woman step onto the lunar surface. Provided that previous missions have proven successful, the astronauts will shoot towards the moon using the lunar lander to lower two people to the moon's south polar region. They will remain on the moon for around a week. After a successful splashdown of the Orion spacecraft in the Pacific Ocean, NASA Administrator and former Senator Bill Nelson shared that his agency plans to go to Mars by the end of 2030. Senator Nelson struck an upbeat tone after NASA had a great Artemis I mission, and the remarks were made during a post-splashdown press conference in which he also shared details for SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. The event was attended by several agency officials, including Michael Serafin, NASA's Artemis One mission manager, who shared his final thoughts on Orion's performance as it entered the Earth at breakneck speeds for a successful landing. Throughout its journey to the moon and back, Orion performed better than NASA engineers had initially expected. The spacecraft's power generation, done through solar panels, generated more power than expected. As part of the mission, NASA added additional test objectives to stress the vehicle and learn more about its performance for future missions. The next Artemis mission will involve a crew, and not only will NASA use the data for the next mission, but it will also make changes to the ship. Administrator Nelson also shared crucial details about SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. This is currently the only vehicle that has been chosen by NASA to land humans on the moon as part of the Artemis program. He announced that SpaceX plans to do an uncrewed landing in 2023 and then do the crewed landing in late 2024. While delays are possible due to the Starship being a brand new concept, everything suggests that the rocket is on schedule for now. If you like this video, you may also like this one, which talks about a frightening discovery made by scientists at CERN. Do you think the Starship will be ready for a crewed mission in 2023? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.